Hello, I'm Ghost Prime. Welcome to my channel. I want to take a look at Generation 1 Ironhide. Now, I know his toy is not the most popular toy in Generation 1. He doesn't have a head, but he was a very prominent character in Season 1 and 2 of the original Transformers series. He was in almost every episode, met his demise at the hands of Megatron in Transformers the movie. Please forever! No! Such heroic nonsense. And I guess you could say Megatron kind of made him more toy accurate. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. But I love this toy. There's a lot of reasons this is a great toy. He did, of course, originate in the Diaclone line, and he was black and instead of red. And he had a pilot that sat here. That's why he doesn't have a head. So he was a, a piloted mech, as all of the Diaclones were. And when they brought him over to Transformers toy line, he was like this. Now, in the Transformers... Uh, Marvel Comics, they didn't have a character design for him yet since it predated the cartoon. They had him in as this design, and then they later changed him to match the cartoon, which I think is very interesting. However, as I said, as a toy, he is great, and please allow me to tell you why. But first, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't. Without any further ado, let's get to the review. And here he is in van mode. He turns into a Nissan Vanette. And this one is red. This is a 1985 model, as you could tell by the rub sign right there. The 1984s will not have that rub sign. That's a 1985 and later uh, edition. Uh, these right here, the sunroof and the stripe are stickers. The Encore one did paint these into, like they have tampographs. And so that's one way you could easily identify an Encore one without the packaging. Also for the packaging, I wish I had this. I don't have the paperwork for this guy. I don't have the packaging for him. I do plan to get that in the future, but I'm going ahead and put a, on the screen right here, put a little picture so you can see the box art from him and his, I really actually like the box art, the robot mode. I, I really just dig that. He doesn't have a face. He has the little eyes on the windshield, which is really interesting. Him and Ratchet are both the same way. These And him and Ratchet are both the same mold. But he's a pretty small little van. He's not very big, and as most of them are, kind of to scale. He does have some metal on him. These parts right back here, which become his feet, are metal. The front is metal. So you can see there's actually a little chipping on mine. And there's a Plenty of chrome that could get faded when you're trying to buy them. So when you're trying to buy one of these on the secondary market, be aware of sticker uh, damage, chrome damage, uh, those types of things if you don't want to have to fix them up. He also does have rubber wheels, so be wary of cracking, as I have a little crack going on right there in this one. Those are easily replaceable things. And for accessories, he does come with this little piece right here. And... This gun right here, which actually can mount on the underside. So I can actually get my fingers in there. Can mount on the underside of the vehicle, like so. It does kind of drag, but I know it's meant to do that. There we go. But it does kind of drag, so it doesn't doesn't really do that super well. But that is what that's there for. Um, I'm not really sure if. There's another mode for this. I haven't seen it. Maybe somebody that knows Diaclone a little better than me could uh, let me know in the comments. He also comes with three of these. I just have one here out here right now because the other ones are on the sprue. But these are three missiles and they are non-firing. Okay, and here he is with Generation 1 Sideswipe. So I think the scale actually does kind of work. And they kind of look good together but you can see how short and kind of stout he is. But he's really tall. Here he is with a Modern Deluxe in the Red Sunstreaker. And here's how it compares next to Optimus Prime. So just kind of get an idea there of a little bit of scale. Okay, moving on to transformation. It's actually super easy as with most Generation 1s. You're going to want to remove the entirety of the backpack. Or the, not a backpack, the, it's a sled, but... We'll get to that later. And what you have is like, like this, just the cab portion and the legs. Super simple. We're just going to take these pieces here, move them out. Go ahead and move that part down. 
And then you want to take the feet, move them kind of straight like that. Take the arms, move them down, hands twist around like so. Do it on the side. There is the robot mode. And then for the sled, take the back part there and open it up. And I'm gonna take this part right here. And this is a little, it's not really a sled, it's like a tracks thing. But take the tracks and fold, under, and fold out the tracks. And on the back, go ahead and do the same. Make sure that it, it's nice and even. Open up the sides here, not too far. They don't go completely flat. So you don't wanna pull on them too much. And then unfold the gun right there. And so what you see in here is a little seat and you see a little hole right there. And that, that port, this little piece goes in. So you just go ahead and stick that in there. And that allows this to be wielded in the front of the sled. And the missile goes in right there. Let's put that back down a little bit, get that nice and... So that has how they go together. Now this is actually kind of a playset. Now, as I said earlier, this is his face. You can see his face in there. It's very silly, it's just a sticker. It's kind of a cop out really, but when you think of this, in t not in terms of the character, in terms of a toy, it actually works really well. This would be a driver. This would be the mech. It's like a more like almost like a tractor thing, like something, you know, that, that you sit in and, and just walk and you come in a pilot. Uh, this actually he could slide. Let's see if I can get him in there. He could slide his feet in there on the other side of the seat like that. And he could... Hold on to the gun. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. And fire that way. Now, this is a non-firing missile. The spring in the Dakar, the Hasbro one, it's not like Takara, will not fire out. I am missing a few stickers on my Ironhide. I don't have the leg stickers there. It is something I will eventually remedy. But I do like this as a little play set. Is it, and that's what this is. This is a play set. This is meant to, to fit with these those little diaclone figures. And it's if you have those and look at it in terms of that, this is actually really kind of cool. But as a Transformer and as a character for Ironhide, not, not as much. Which is why even as a kid seeing this thing is like, ah, uh, it doesn't look like the character. It's like his chest and his legs and his arms are really low and I connected at his waist. It just him and Ratchet are both exactly the same way. Maybe the upcoming studio series one will 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 be a really good one. We'll see. But that is Generation 1 Ironhide. Now here he is next to Generation 1 Prime while he's in the sled. So you can see he is very small. And here he is Without the sled. Lastly, let's bring in Sideswipe here as a robot. So you can see how he kind of measures up. He is really small, but once you go ahead and stick him on his sled and put him next to him, they become much taller. And they just have this nice vintage look when you get these all together, these 84 and 85 transformers with the chrome and the metal pieces. They have a really good look and it's very cohesive as a toy line. They look wonderful together. I, I adore it. So he is a must for any Generation 1 collection, him and Ratchet. They are both excellent toys. I love the little battle platforms. There's a lot you could do with the toy. It is an excellent toy as a toy. It may not represent the character super well, but there are add-ons you could get. Maybe you can even 3D print some to make it look a little bit more cartoon accurate if that's what you're trying to go for for your vintage collection. I love him and I'm glad to have him in my collection. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll talk to you later.